What is happening, Magnus Shipes? Apparently, we got some rumors and some cameos. Uh, hmm. Ryan Reynolds seems like the type to make sure his movie comes out right. So, I'm interested. Make sure you follow The Cosmic Wonder. What is going on, everybody? Welcome back to The Cosmic Wonder. I'm Warren Thompson, and we have some news about new mutants. Not the new mutants, but new mutant characters and new X-Men characters coming to the Marvel Cinematic Universe. Now, we know that Deadpool 3 is going to bring back some old X-Men characters, some of the original X-Men, such as Ian McKellen's Magneto, Patrick Stewart's Professor Xavier, who has already really been brought back anyways in Doctor Strange and the Multiverse of Madness, but other iconic characters are going to be returning as well, but new characters, new X-Men, are also going to be introduced in Deadpool 3. Deadpool 3's filming is taking place right now, and also, side note about Deadpool 3 filming right now, Deadline reported that they should be wrapping up filming by next month. Apparently, this is incorrect. According to the insider My Time to Shine Hello, Deadpool 3 is going to be filming until September, which makes a lot of sense because Deadpool 3 just started filming. A lot of people were wondering, oh, okay. well, how exactly is Deadpool 3 going to be finished filming so quickly when they just started? And a lot of people were worried about that, but it looks like we don't have to worry too much now. A lot of people were worried okay. that they were just going to be using reused footage from previous Fox films like the X-Men and Deadpool, etc. Uh, we'll talk about that in just a bit in this video because they are going to do some of that, but not all. It's only going to be for a brief part of the movie and we'll explain in just a bit. We'll also announce the giveaway winner at the end of this video. Now, from what we've already learned about Deadpool 3, Deadpool is going to be working with the TVA as sort of a punishment. Instead of just getting pruned by the TVA, they're going to essentially contract him okay. to help them fix or eliminate a universe that was not supposed to exist. And Deadpool is the one who caused this universe to exist basically by the actions that he did at the end of Deadpool 2 slash what he's going to do at the beginning of Deadpool 3. Just to jog your memory if you don't remember yeah, or if you don't. haven't seen it, at the end of Deadpool 2, Deadpool took Cable's time travel device and essentially messed up some timelines. He killed off some characters, and he intentionally oh, did this. Prime yeah. examples, he went back and killed his old self in the old Fox universe, the old Deadpool. <laughs> the one that we don't really talk about. There's a yeah. reason that he killed him. Yeah. <laughs> hey, it's me. Don't scratch. Just clean up the timelines. Look, eventually, you're going to hang up the claws, and it's going to make a lot of people very sad. Huh? But one day, your old pal Wade's gonna ask you to get back in the saddle again. And when he does, say yes. Oh, right. These events are apparently what is going to create a universe where Magneto okay. is the ruler of the universe. Now, we've heard about this before. Oh. We didn't know how exactly it happened. Apparently, Deadpool going back in the past killing himself in front of Wolverine has a massive effect and causes an old Fox X-Men universe to collide with a newer MCU universe. So if you thought the cameo potential for Deadpool 3 was already insane, well it just got a lot more insane. We can see <laughs> some cameos from the MCU now. This will mean we'll get more interactions of characters from the MCU with characters from the old Fox X-Men universe. And not just the X-Men universe, but maybe some of you have heard that Ben Affleck is going to be in Deadpool 3 as well. Now we are assuming who? that he is going to be playing Daredevil since that's the role that he played oh, before. Do you, so it seems like this movie is going to have cameos galore. Old cameos at least, <laughs> with a little bit of new, but we'll talk about that in just a bit. And apparently from what we've heard, and this is not 100% confirmed, but just a little lead slash like that's been going and on the out there about cut. Deadpool 3, <laughs> is that this universe that Deadpool created by killing himself in a timeline and possibly doing other things with Wolverine, since we know Wolverine is going to be one of the main characters, but off its normal course, which in turn collided with another universe that got off course, and this universe is a part of the MCU. It's actually going to be a branch of the main timeline that was created by Tony Stark and Steve Rogers going back in time mm. to receive the Mind Stone. This timeline is apparently going to intersect with another Deadpool X-Men timeline, giving us the universe where Magneto 
rules over all, and he has successfully created a universe where pretty much everyone is a mutant. And there's a rumor going around that in this universe, Magneto possibly successfully created a conversion machine, turning people into mutants, or at least activating the mutant genes inside of people, everybody yeah. else, he could possibly kill off normal humans. And this is where we are going to see that X-Men lineup that we've been talking about. However, if this is truly combined with an MCU timeline, then we could see two possible things happening in Deadpool 3. One, we could actually see a battle of the Avengers versus the X-Men. The Avengers vs. the X-Men was a very huge comic event. It was game-changing, and if you haven't read it, I highly suggest you do so. And of course, it won't be adapted page for page, but we could possibly get that yeah. with Magneto's world, because he has an X-Men team, and if everybody else that isn't an X-Men or a mutant is killed, well, that probably means that he goes up against the Avengers. And if he's going up against Captain mm. America and Iron Man and Thor, well, Magneto definitely has the upper hand there, being able to control metal. Plus, if he has a whole X-Men team to help them go up against these people, the Avengers, that is, I definitely have to say that it goes to Magneto and Professor X and whoever else is on the team. So one of the things we could see is a possible flashback to the Avengers losing and possibly dying to the X-Men. And if you do want to check out the Avengers first, be, be sure to check out my buddies over at comicbookdirect.com. Now, we don't want to go too off the rails with the possible cameos that we could get in Deadpool 3, but we already know we're going to be seeing some amazing cameos, like the possible return of the Fantastic Four, including Chris Evans as the Human Torch. Like I mentioned, Ben Affleck is rumored to be coming back. Most of the original X-Men are rumored to be coming back as well, but now we're hearing that new X-Men characters that have never been introduced before in any universe could possibly make their mm. debuts in this film as well. In right. fact, according to some recent rumors, Channing Tatum could possibly and Again. finally be playing Gambit. <laughs> now, we did have a Gambit before in the old Fox universe, uh -huh. so perhaps due to some incursions or Deadpool change in the timeline a little bit, it ends up being Channing Tatum playing Gambit. Since it's a multiverse huh. movie, there is going to be a okay. bit of fan service, and really that's just going to come in the form of cameos. Now, I don't want to overhype this like we did for Multiverse of Madness, <laughs> because we want to level our expectations. Yeah. Honestly, Hugh Jackman <laughs> returning as Wolverine is good enough. For not going to make the second, he's not going to make this mistake that a second time. original X-Men return is just amazing as well. Throw in some cameos for old characters as well, like Ben Affleck's Daredevil, and then throw in some new X-Men that we've never seen before. This movie should be fantastic, providing the plot is solid. But Deadpool working with the TVA because he was messing with time travel is a good story that ties into the huh. MCU extremely well and also ties into Avengers Secret Wars extremely well. And Ryan Reynolds has been working on this script for a very, very long time, so you know he's put a lot of care into it. So if you have any awesome cameos that you would love to see, let us know who you'd like to see in the comments down below. Who do you want to see pop up, whether it's a new character or an old character? Also, big well, I am excited about that. I am excited about that. That would be crazy. A world of all mutants where Magneto has won and he rules and you see an X-Men and Avengers fight and we see some X-Men we haven't seen yet. As long as they don't woke it up, that sounds... Mwah outstanding that sounds outstanding and like I said I, I don't know I, I just Brian Reynolds seems like a guy that has a vision and wants to get things done right with his movie he just but to, you just never know though with the way things are so you know well I mean and I love Ryan Reynolds <laughs> uh, he was you know, he's, I, I don't say this very often, but he was born to play Deadpool. Um, I know that years ago he wanted to play Wally West Flash. He would have been perfect for that, too. He would have been perfect for that, too. But uh, he ended up doing Green Lantern and that didn't work out. I didn't think it was as bad as everybody said it was. But, you know. Um, is there anyone out there that could play it as well? Maybe. But he's definitely, definitely nailed that down. Just like Hugh Jackman and his Wolverine. So I'm just happy seeing both of them. The whole buddy cop movie with them together. I'm happy just seeing that. So, and you're telling me I might get all of this? Happy fan. Happy fan. Post comments down below. Let me know what you all think. You enjoyed my reaction. Hit the like button, subscribe, and share.
10 million subscribers.